When I first had this camera in hand, uh, I thought it was broken because this is a little, little bit wobbly as you can see. Hopefully that the camera picks it up. But uh, no, that's um, in fact it's a, a focus ring. So now let's try the focus. Sticking it to the cable to the table. Uh, uh, something like that should be okay. Um, give it something to focus on. There's a little delay. And I'm not sure exactly sure where the uh, where the focus should start but I'm just guessing and use the um, middle point of the camera like that Good. So now we can measure the, um, the focus and when I turn that and push it closer, uh, we are in focus again, more or less. better now. Like that. And now we are at a distance of around about nine or eight and a half centimeters. Now, let's see how far we can push that to the limits. I guess it was the wrong direction. Was it? Yes. Now it's really close at about uh, five centimeters. can feel that it, it doesn't move anymore, so that is really the hard limit. But as you can see, you can really have some nice macro shots here. This is now about uh, three and a half to three centimeters. The reason I measured the, uh, the focus length was uh, not only because I wanted to verify what uh, is advertised but um, what I'm really after is um, I want to make time lapse with a macro shot directly on the printhead. For that, uh, I printed a bracket so that I can uh, mount the camera directly to the printhead. Like that. And the camera should just clip on. arm
So this is now how it looks like. Um, because of this uh, arm I will not be able to print multiple objects and uh, use the option of uh, printing one at a time. But yeah, you cannot have it all, right? If you plug it in, it should work right out, out of the box as advertised. I'm using Linux Mint here. Uh, so let's start the uh, video for Linux. Uh, configured the preview to VLC. And yes, we have uh, a video. Just adjust it to the focus. Now, um, the codec that is currently using uh, is a YUF 42 in a resolution of 640 to 480 <coughs> and a frame rate of 30. That is now the view of the USB camera and I hope that the focus now is more or less on this nozzle, on the tip of the nozzle more or less. Thank you. 